guys, archaeologist Dan here yet again with some more information of how we expanded and uncovered more things. So before I show you what we've uncovered, I'm going to show you how we've expanded. So we've created sort of like a site here so, so we can do further archaeology and expansion of what we found. We've explored the deep dark because we found a sensor, skulk sensor, we put it in water, and we're doing tests on it to see how it works. We have one suspicious sand here, some armor trims, and a pottery shard, some bookshelves, and a little chair. Over here is where we do more testing, and over here is where we can sleep. And actually, it's night time. I should go to sleep. All right. Now let me show you the hidden passageway. Now we found this in the forest. Behind here. And when we switch out the books, we found this. We don't know when or how it got here, but we just found it. It has a bunch of frog lights in here, weirdly. And we're planning to do archaeology in here to see if there's anything that we can uncover, maybe in this little pond. And the vines have grown ever since, so it's easier to get up. And we don't know how the Cherry Grove building got here, especially since we're in a jungle. The stuff here we obviously built because it's made out of bamboo, but we don't know how the Cherry Grove thing got here. So we're doing further investigation on this. And as you can see, we made a pathway to the jungle temple. At this point, we know all about the jungle temple and all of its secrets. We know to never open the trap chest, no matter what anyone tells us. I'm going to show you the archaeology site that we've uncovered. Now remember that other soft gravel area that I was talking about? Yeah, we uncovered that. And it, it lied some secrets underneath. Here it is. It seems to be some little, a little hut, similar to the, um, cold ocean ruins. Now, if we go in here, we can see that it's a little hut. With nothing in it. I think there was, used to be a bed in here or something, but it got swept away by, it got swept away by the ocean. We have this little thing here. We think it's another hut. We don't know. Or just it could just be a sign pointing that way. But we we can't do further investigation on that because it's under there. So we'll just have to, you know, use our imaginations and figure it out. Have some sort of statue. I think of an iron golem. Maybe we don't know yet. But we think it used to be of an iron golem. The pumpkin head and the four iron blocks. Then we have a little water area over here. We think this was a man-made pond that they would fish in. 
We did find a lot of fishing rods and stuff in here too. And it was by the ocean. We think a sort of landslide happened to where everything collapsed over. And it led to the downfall of this ancient civilization. Now, we never really made <clears throat> a pathway out of here, but I can just maybe do this. So, yeah, that's what we've uncovered. I think we have some more stuff over here. If not, then yeah. Oh. Hello, Dougie. We've encountered a lot of dogs in this area. I think this is like a wolf forest or something. But yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all we've uncovered. We're doing further research on the pink house, though. Because when we, when we uncovered that, it was really crazy. By the way, there's no one here with me. I just get on the phone with um the rest of the team and talk to them about what we found. Or what I found. But, yeah. They said they're coming here soon. To do fit for your investigation with me. So, yeah. That'll probably be in next episode. So, yeah. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And make sure to like and subscribe. And hit that bell so you don't miss any of my cool videos. Peace.